Okay, so we are here on a beautiful vantage point that's about maybe a quarter of a mile, um, maybe just, just before the half mile point on the Andreas Canyon Loop Trail at Indian Canyons near Palm Springs or in Palm Springs, California. And I want to show you this beautiful palm oasis. Take a look. The palms that you see here run alongside Andreas Creek, and this is one of the easier hikes that you can take in the Indian Canyons Park area. It's a very easy, fairly low graded hike that takes you around the oasis along the creek in about a one mile loop before you return to the parking lot. Area, you can see some really fantastic examples of the California fan palm, which is one of the only palm trees native to the west coast of the United States. So one of our country's largest palms, and it's exceeded only in height by my home state's native Florida royal palm. So these beauties are tall and they are absolutely gorgeous and incredible to see. These palm trees are truly giant. They can grow up to 59 or even 60 feet in height, and the fronds themselves are over 13 feet long. So they are quite tall and they are massive giants, and standing under them is just unbelievable. You really feel this amazing sense of being dwarfed and surrounded by the trees and the ecological community. The fan palm really represented a treasure trove to the native indigenous people of the area. Fruit could be eaten raw, it could be cooked, it could even be mashed up and made into a type of flour that could then be cooked into cakes. Those beautiful palm fronds could be woven into baskets or even sandals and used for thatches on the house. And of course, the wood of the palm itself could be used for a variety of things as well, including helping to start fires. The presence of the plant also indicated something very important, which was water. These plants were a giant landmark to tell everyone, hey, there was a spring here. And this was incredibly important, not just to the indigenous people, but to animals everywhere who were able to live in these areas and survive in the harsh desert conditions. The Palm Oasis is amazing. There are also fascinating rock formations that surround the canyon. As we walked, we actually saw some bighorn sheep up along the ridge, which was really exciting to see. We also saw roadrunners, some quail, and all sorts of cool lizards in the area as well. So this is a great place to come if you want to see different types of desert wildlife, as well as over 150 different types of plants. It's also important to know that this space is a sacred site to the Agua Caliente Band of Indigenous People, and you can actually find places where they have gathered for hundreds of years coming together and using the stones as mortar and pestles. So we did not know that. We actually came here for the oasis and it was really just incredible to also find a place that was a sacred site and to give our gratitude and our thanks to the people who have lived in these lands as well. So Andreas Canyon is considered to be the second largest California fan palm oasis in the world. And so you have all of these incredible plants that grow around the water. And then surrounding this area, you have all the plants of the desert, which just makes it such a cool place to visit if you're a huge plant or wildlife nerd like me. That being said, it's also really challenging to film here, we found out, because of the running water. So we wanna show you a video that we filmed on location so you can see some of the really cool plants that are around the water and we apologize in advance for the poor sound quality, but hopefully you'll be able to see some of the neat species there. So we are here in the Indian Canyons Park area. We are on one of the easier hiking trails because we're just stopping here for a moment before we head out to Joshua Tree. But this is a really exciting find here. This area where I'm standing, this little uh, ravine, this little waterway that comes through, is one of the second, actually it's the second largest oasis for these giant California palms. But what's really cool is we have some other plants growing here that we would never expect to find out in the desert, especially cat tails. Look at this guy right here, right? These are giant cat tails. They love fresh water and typically we wouldn't expect to find them in the middle of the desert, but here they are. And then right behind them, this tree growing up, is our gum tree. So both of these trees really love 
fresh water, regular water, water that comes through regularly, that stays nice and wet. So this is a great example of an oasis out in the desert. Away from the water, on the ridge, we have the types of plants that you might expect to find growing in the desert. Everything from the chola cactuses that have different names like the teddy bear cactuses, to the creosote bush or the chaparral, and the giant barrel cactuses. They are all along the other side of the trail. Once you cross over the creek, which is about a half mile, you'll head up into a higher elevation and you'll get this beautiful view of the, of the oasis as well as lots of wonderful desert plants. If you're in the Palm Springs area and you're looking for a nature break, we highly recommend this short and easy hike. It was a beautiful example of a desert oasis and as a bonus, there was so much wildlife and plant life. It was just really a fantastic place to visit. We hope you'll check it out and tell us how you like it. See you on the trail.